What is going on, everybody? It is Zach Tech with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you, like, I had problems with this, like, when I actually got my drone and stuff. So I'm going to be showing you how to take off the gimbal guard and putting it back on and the lens cover, because this stuff was pretty difficult when I got it, even though it looks easy. It's just, like, you don't want to break the gimbal or the camera, so you try to be careful, but, like, it just doesn't work. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so you're safe and you don't like break anything. So yeah, first we start off with the gimbal guard before taking off the lens cover because oh, before taking off the lens cover because it's kind of hard to um take off the gimbal guard when I mean, it's kind of hard to take off the lens cover when the gimbal guard the gimbal guard is on. So if you don't know already what the gimbal guard is is this big blocky thing that goes around the camera so like the gimbal doesn't all move around and shake and stuff so yeah so how do you take it off is basically it says to press right here but you don't really have to because it doesn't do anything it doesn't even press so first there's like this little piece right here so all you have to do is just tilt it and it'll just be like this don't worry they didn't break it camera's totally supposed to do that and then all you do is like put your finger like back here and just like push this way and it will basically just like slide out but you also have to do it with this and just like basically push with this finger back here just push that way just go like this and that will just slide it right off and you just have to be hard with it but like you don't want to pull it so the whole gimbal goes this way so you want to like Take this hand, like, push with your finger and pull that way. So, like, you know, if you ever had hair, like, you, like, take the knot and then, like, you hold the hair. And then, like, you try to, like, get it out so it, like, doesn't hurt or pull your hair out. I don't know, it's weird. So, yeah. So, like, resisting. So, yeah. You don't just want to, like, pull it this. Because see how that pulls the gimbal this way? It kind of, like, pulls it that way. And that could actually probably break it so I wouldn't risk it so you just like basically hold this like with this hand your left hand hold it so it like doesn't move see and it's not doing anything but when I let go it moves it a lot and like it might tug on it so you just hold it so it like doesn't tug on the whole gimbal and stuff like that right so now to put it on is actually very easy it was actually pretty hard for me to put it on when I didn't know how to so what you gotta do is you don't try to do this you have to get this right on with it so like right here like you want this to be like flush with it right there and you're gonna it's gonna be difficult to push on but see it does go on and it's supposed to do that so yeah so you basically push it on and use this hand to push this way, push back, and this hand to push forward so you're not like just pushing the whole gimbal that way and breaking it. So basically this hand just makes it steady. See, I'm pushing really hard and if I pushed hard it would probably break the whole gimbal off. You know what I mean. So then you just push it on, just like that. Um, you can push it a little more. So see how there's like a little space left. You don't have to push it so it's all the way flush. Like, just push it a little more because it's this thing up here goes into that. And if it's like flush with that, it'll barely go into that and it'll just like wobble around a lot more. So, yeah. And then you just take this part and put it right here. Put it right in there. Like, right in there. And I'll show you. Just put it right in there, and then just push in. But remember, you don't just want to push. You, just, you could use like this. You could go like this. Because this is like holding this, so like you don't push the whole gimbal that way. You know, just like go like this. So it fits in there, and now it's actually really snug. And since it's snug, like, here, look, I'll show you what happens when it is not flush with it. Let me get my camera up. So when it's not, like, I mean, when it is flush with it, like, this. So it's actually pretty flush with this, right here. So then when you put it in, 
it doesn't really go in because this, the camera, is straight right here, you know? And it doesn't really bend this way. So, um, when you put it in like this, it's not straight because it's, like, flush with this. So you just want to push it in a little more. And then it'll actually fit in more. Like that. And boom. It's not going anywhere. See how it actually fell out? I need to actually push this in a little bit more. And then you just push that in pretty tightly. So yeah, that's that's that. So then the oops, so then the lens cap or cover, it's actually pretty hard to take off. Like it's self-explanatory, but it's hard. So what you gotta do is just like get your nail kind of in there, just like this, like in that little gap. So then you can just like pry it open. But remember, you want a hand to hold this so you don't like ruin the camera because that's bad. Because that's bad and you don't want to go there. So then you just pry it open. But see, I'm hold holding it. As you see, I'm holding it right here, like pushing back too, like pushing back with this hand and pushing forward. So if I do push forward, it'll just move the whole thing. So basically just like holding it in place. Yeah, so then you get like one side like that. So you'd probably have to go to the top, but I mean, I can still get it off by one side. It may have to go down a little bit on the bottom, like right here. And then it'll just slide off. And yeah, now your gimbal's good. And your gimbal, don't be afraid to bend it, because see, it goes all like this and stuff. So you're good. So yeah, you're good. So then, it's easy to put on. Just put it on like that, and just push. And remember, if you push, it'll break the gimbal, so you just hold it. And yeah, that's how you do all that stuff. And yeah. So if you want me to do more tutorials of the DJI Phantom 3 standard, um, then, yeah, comment down below, and that's basically it. Please subscribe.